Welcome to Fresno City Vision. I'm Randy Reed. If controlling your home energy costs feels like a never-ending battle that you just can't win, we have some information you're not going to want to miss. The City of Fresno is offering free home energy surveys using the latest high-tech equipment to show you where your home is literally leaking money. And here to talk about that program is Joseph Oldham. He is the sustainability manager for the City of Fresno, and he'll be telling us how residents can take advantage of this absolutely free service. Joseph, welcome to Fresno City Vision. Thank you, Randy. Appreciate having uh, the opportunity to talk to you today. Absolutely. Well, let's just kind of start off with a description of a, or a definition of a term. What is the sustainability program at the City of Fresno? What's that all about? Well, sustainability program at the City of Fresno is really looking at our uh, resources and how we're using them currently and the demands that are going to be placed on those resources for the future and what we're going to need to do to meet those demands. Okay. So it's really looking at uh, our usage and where we stand with that and then looking at what we potentially will have to do as our population grows to adapt to the new environment as it uh, unfolds. Okay, and now as a key part of that right now, we mentioned at the uh, introduction that uh, the City of Fresno offers free home energy surveys. Describe uh, a home energy survey. What is it that your team does? Well, basically what we're doing is uh, we come out to residents' homes, we uh, do an analysis of their existing conditions in their home, the type of HVAC system they have. HVAC it, being? Uh, air conditioning, heating systems, uh, looking at their insulation levels, looking at how tight their home is. If a home isn't tight and you have a lot of leakage in the home, literally okay. uh, energy is going out the window. And so uh, we look at all of that. We use some advanced technology. We use uh, thermal imaging cameras, okay. uh, blower door testers, uh, which basically allow us to take readings of the home, look at all of the uh, locations where there might be energy loss, and uh, then we take that information, put it into a fairly complex uh, analytical calculator that spits out analysis of the cost benefit of doing various different energy efficiency improvements and looking at renewable energy uh, opportunities for homeowners. Okay. Now, it sounds like a lot of complex information, high-tech tools, and a cal calculator that's pretty complex, et right. cetera. How does the average homeowner utilize that information? Well, basically what we've done is tried to take all of that, boil it down into a fairly comprehensive and easy-to-understand report that gives the homeowner uh, samples of thermal images of their home. We take the images that are relevant, showing places where they may have a lot of leakage around doors from lack of weather stripping, looking at areas that potentially are lacking in insulation, uh, looking at ductwork where it potentially is leaking or uh, is disconnected, and we've been finding that quite a bit. Uh, then we uh, put forth this uh, calculation that shows them what the cost benefit of doing the improvements on the homes would be, uh, showing you know an estimated cost of all of those improvements in different packages, and then showing what uh, financing through a um, energy efficiency loan program might look like as far as their cost for that, and then looking at a positive cash flow each month, hopefully that they would see. Hmm. Uh, in some cases, uh, that's not the case, but that's important for homeowners to know as well. Uh, and that's but, whether there's a payback over right. time for the investment that you make Correct. in these upgrades that you're talking Correct. about doing. I mean, some homeowners have already invested in energy efficiency improvements in mm -hmm. their homes. Right. Uh, and that's fine. They will ha will be happy to come out and assess how those improvements are, are doing as far as, uh, you know, uh, providing a good ceiling mm -hmm. and if everything is working properly on okay. the home. Uh, and in some cases, it isn't cost effective for homeowners to do these things. but. The majority of homeowners in Fresno could use some uh, improvements in their efficiency of their properties. Okay. Definitely. Now, is that because of the age of the homes in Fresno, um, or what? what is the reason why in a community like ours, which has been dealing with temperature extremes for a long oh, yeah. time, but you're saying a lot of the homes are still not energy efficient. That's surprising in some ways. Well, it was to us to some degree, but um, understanding that homeowners uh, oftentimes what's out of sight is out of mind and so they don't see a lot of areas in their homes that over time begin to degrade. Ductwork is a prime example. Uh, a lot of the ductwork in the homes that we go in and, and test 
is leaking or in many cases even ducts are disconnected or there's uh, not good insulation or sealing where the duct work goes into the actual room. So this is duct work that's carrying either air cooled, air cooled air or heated air Correct. to keep your house warm or cold. Right. Yeah. So you either have heat loss or you have heat gain. And uh, if the system is working and people over time just don't realize that it's getting less and less efficient because of leakage, uh, oftentimes this is something that the homeowner doesn't really uh, proactively check mm -hmm. and so over time and many you know many of the homes that we're testing are 20 30 40 50 years old okay. and so uh, and they may have gone through several owners uh, and so folks assume when they buy a house that everything is working uh, that's not necessarily uh, a good assumption mm -hmm. uh, people should take the time to investigate the systems that really make their home work and their heating and ventilation systems are critical to their overall uh, life cycle cost of that home. Okay, and so uh, as technology has improved over the years, and we're not just talking about necessarily that now solar is available that wasn't available 30 years ago, we're talking about the uh, efficiency of an air conditioning unit, Correct. the efficiency of a heating unit, those things alone can make a significant impact on what you pay each month for your utility bills. Oh, absolutely. Um, just as an, a good example is, for instance, insulation. Uh, for a long time, uh, the standard in insulation was R19 in the attic. And now today, the Department of Energy recommends that the minimum insulation for our climate zone is R38. That sounds like a significant increase. It's a increase. significant incre increase in the, okay. in the thickness of that insulation that needs to be in the attic. And in some cases, they recommend R60. Wow. R60 is actually almost two feet of insulation in your attic. That's and incredible. most people are, don't have anywhere near that level of insulation. Mm -hmm. And insulation is one of your cheapest and most cost-effective things that you can do to prevent uh, 